everyone and welcome to our very first online lesson. I am so excited to be sharing this with you. Thank you for joining and signing up to Sarah McDonald's Online Art School. The first lesson in the package involves all things colour. As you can see, I've got this beautiful, colourful, abstract background behind me. I love colour. I use colour in all sorts of ways. I think from a very young age, as a young painter, I sort of started to see colour a little bit differently. And I also really love teaching about the theory of colour. It's a fundamental. So I have made this colour theory lesson for both my beginner course and my more experienced extension course. Because at the end of the day, I really believe that if you understand the theory of colour, uh, you know how to mix colours, um, you know, you, you can see the joy of being able to make a whole lot of colours just using primaries. You don't have to go to the shop and buy all of your browns and all of your tertiary colours. You can actually make them with a limited palette. If you know all of that and you have an understanding of complementary colours, how colours sit next to each other, all of those things that I'm going to teach you, then you'll find your other painting processes and your more extension painting projects will become a lot easier for you. You'll be able to make decisions about what colour to grab and what colour you need to add to that to change it just a little bit. It will become second nature, but that does take time. I've been teaching colour theory for 20 years and it's probably the one lesson that I will have been asked to repeat. Um, my students say, that was amazing. I learned so much about it and I've been mixing colours for years. But can you do it again? Because I, I want to keep learning, I want to keep practicing. Practicing colour mixing is absolutely fundamental, guys. If you don't put your colour theory into practice and do your mixing exercises, like when you're warming up to go for a run, um, then you'll never really get that understanding and it, it will become more difficult when, you, when you're deciding or what colour to add um, for this particular painting. So I'm going to take you through the basics, starting with the primary colours, cool and warm colours, complementary colours, how we make all of the tertiary colours, which is probably my most exciting part of this lecture. And then I'll show you a little, some little exercises that you can do to help your own mixing experience happen. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to set up now and you'll need to grab your um, some canvas paper, your primary colours, the warm and cool, red, blue and yellow. It's all on your list. I will show you everything now at my table and we'll go from there. Thanks. <laughs> 